Welcome. In this episode, we are tearing down the Gigabyte Vision NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090. We will disassemble the cooler shroud, take off the metal backplate, clean the card, and reveal the PCB for a closer look. This is the Vector Network, and let's begin. The Vision RTX 3090 is manufactured by Gigabyte and comes equipped with a mostly white cooler shroud and a metal silver back plate. The teardown begins with removing the screws attaching the PCB to the back plate. There are five Phillips head screws to remove, one by one. Next, the bracket for the processor is held down by a set of four Phillips head screws. These are unscrewed in a crisscross pattern to relieve tension as evenly as possible prior to fully taking out each of the screws. There are two smaller Phillips head screws on one side of the cooler shroud, right next to the RGB LED. There is one last Phillips head screw directly on the PCB. Once removed, we can lift up and carefully pry the PCB from the cooler shroud. There are three cables still attached so we need to unplug those first. One by one, apply some pressure side to side and they come off. Now the PCB is exposed, but we still need to take off the metal back plate. Before that, there are these three Phillips head screws. Once removed, the back plate can come off the PCB, making sure to also unplug the two power extenders. After that, there is the PCB, much smaller without its cooler shroud and back plate. The cleaning begins with the removal of any remaining thermal pads and thermal paste residue. These are Noctua wipes that come in some of their thermal paste kits. I use these in connection with isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips. Next, here is the bare PCB. The GA102 graphics processor is a large chip with more than 28 billion transistors. Using the GA102-300-1A variant, the 3090 has nearly 10,500 shading units. The processor has 82 ray tracing and acceleration cores and also 328 tensor cores. A defining feature of the 3090 is its 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X VRAM and using a 384-bit memory connection interface. Display outputs include one HDMI 2.1 port, three DisplayPort 1.4A ports. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for a notification when the next episode airs. Click on the links here for more videos, including one dedicated to the studio that produces this content. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.